Hello everyone. Today is May 5th, 2021. I haven't been on for quite a while. I want to apologize. I've had some difficulties. And I allowed them to stop me coming back here. Maybe this is something that you can relate to or some of you where you allow some things in your life to stop you doing what you are to do. For me, it's a combination of several, several things, several things that have happened. There have been some heartbreak for me over the past year and a half. And this has robbed me of my confidence to the point that I find it very difficult to get on a video. It's not that it robbed me of my confidence. Let me reword it. I have allowed these heartbreaks to rob me of my confidence. And I'm not one of the most practical people that you can have. And so when I'm in a situation where my children are sent home for weeks at the time because of restrictions, um, I get out of, well, I get out of my schedule. And again, I lose time trying to get it all together. But uh, I'm here now. I can't change the past, but I can change what I do today. And today I am here with you. I wrote some points to what Father's been speaking to me about over the last few months. And I want to share that with you. I made myself a cup of green tea. And I'm just going to go point by point. I'm going to say it plainly, as plainly as I can. I am not saying any of this to start a war with anyone. I'm not saying any of this to argue with anybody. I am simply sharing what Father has been speaking with me about. If you find yourself disagreeing with anything I'm saying, that's fine. Please take it to Father. What isn't really helping me with all of this is knowing that there are people on this channel, subscribed to this channel or watching this channel, who... Take these videos as an opportunity to have something against me. They don't turn it on thinking, okay, what what what, what has she got to say? Let's see. They turn it on thinking, oh, what has she got to say that I got to disagree with? And that is not cool, guys. That is not cool. Okay, so, where do I start? Okay, I have been writing a blog over the past month or two. I haven't made it public yet because the study that I'm writing, I also want to make videos with. I know there are some people who are better um, absorbing information when they are reading it and then there are some who are better at understanding it and absorbing it when they are hearing it. And so once it's written, it's a 10-part study or so, I will also make 
videos with each of these parts where I either read it aloud or I just freehand the material that's that's in the written form. Um, so in the next few days or in, in the next week or so, I will start making these studies uh, on in a video form. And so you will get the link to the new blog. Um, okay. Where are we now? I have said many times in the past, and I testified to this, that the kingdom of heaven is here. The seventh age ended by the end of 2020. And in the year 2021, the kingdom of heaven started to be on earth again, and that this is the everlasting kingdom. Why aren't we seeing it? Well, we are seeing it, people. Just not in the way that we have expected it to be. There is spiritual reality and then there is how this reality manifests in the physical form. First things happen in the spirit. You have, okay, Paul wrote about powers and principalities. You have powers and principalities that are of our Heavenly Father. And then I have powers and principalities that are adverse to our Heavenly Father. This is the battle of light and darkness. So for the kingdom of heaven to be actually on earth, What must happen? Our father's children here on earth have to be in charge spiritually. Then the kingdom exists. When it is the children of the adversary here on earth that are in charge, then it is not the kingdom of heaven. It is hell. Now here's the thing. Imagine a situation where the powers and principalities of the adversary are removed from here. They are no longer here. They cannot give, um, give advice or they cannot give direction to the children of the adversary to the people that are literally under the rule of the adversary. They cannot give them any advice or any direction of what to do. These spirits are no longer here. Does that mean that the people that used to receive direction from these spirits are going to come out in the open and say, hey guys, we lost, our masters are gone, so we're just going to step aside and you take over the earth. Of course they're not going to do it, although they have done it in a way. They have done it in a way in um, last spring and they have also announced it throughout all the networks when they said that the corona is over the whole earth. Corona in their twisted way of speaking is crown and crown represents our father and the kingdom. So they have said the truth. Their over overlords were removed gradually in stages. They are no longer here. 
but the poem. Okay, so we've got the children of our father, and we've got the children of the adversary. What does it mean? In Matthew 13, there is a distinction made between like two types of human beings here. One are the children of the adversary, and the others are the children of our father. Children of our father started their existence within what is called the light. And then there are the children of the darkness. Meaning there was a spirit who lost its light. And after the spirit lost its light, it created itself children. And both of these groups look the same on earth. We're all human on the outside. But only some of them are the children of the light. Now, among these groups, are some that on the father's side are called the elect and on the enemy's side are called the elected or the elites. Okay? On the father's side, these are called 144. And there is literally 144 of the elect on Father's side. It is not some kind of position of power, as some try to make it. It is a position of being a witness to our Father. Each one of these 144 people have a testimony about our Father. That's all there is to it. On the other side, there is actually 144,000. These are called the elites or the elected. Now, the elites... are just the extension of the adversary. So they used to have communication with him. They used to get instructions of what to do, how to run the earth, specifically. Also among 144,000, are those fallen angels that everyone wants to keep fighting. These are actually people in the highest position in the society. Okay? So you get the spiritual powers and principalities that are invisible, that are in the spiritual world. And then you have the fallen who are bound to earth, to the bodies. And these used to receive instructions from the powers and principalities. These powers and principalities have been removed from here and there is no longer a communication. But that doesn't mean that these elites who have lost communication with their overlords are going to just give up. No, they decided to keep going without any instruction, without any of it.
They are trying to create a kingdom for themselves. These people, these elites, okay, are not doing it now for the overlords, for the powers and principalities. They are now doing it for themselves. And yet, spiritually speaking, they don't have any right to do that. Because the power was given back to the children of light. So why can't we see the kingdom? Well, because at most, the children of light don't want it on the earth. There has been a huge deception going on for centuries. Deception and manipulation of the word of God. Where certain passages of the Bible... We are explained as if heaven is a far, far away place that has nothing to do with the earth. That is not true. The kingdom of heaven is supposed to be here. It is supposed to manifest in here. And yet, most of the children of light are trying to escape. Until they stop that, until they start participating, we will not see the kingdom of heaven on earth. Each and one of you that are listening to me, if you are a child of light, have a job to do for the kingdom here on earth. Most of you don't want to do the job. And that includes me. I want to do my job, but I haven't done my job in months. Why? Well, I could be telling you why. I could be telling you all the reasons and difficulties and whatever. I could be complaining all day long, okay? But I'm not going to. I'm just going to do my job. There are several jobs within the kingdom. There are messengers, there are teachers, there are watchmen, there are scribes, and there's some other. But let's let's talk about these four, okay? Messenger is a job where father comes to you and gives you a statement. And he gives you a, a place and a time where to say this statement, where to repeat it, where to announce it. So it can be a one person. It can be a spirit. It can be the whole world. It can be talk on the video. It doesn't matter. You are given a statement from our father and you are supposed to just speak it. You are given clarity of where to speak it, who to speak it to, how to speak it. You are not to explain what you were told and what you said. You are not to explain the statement. It is not your job to understand it. It is not your job to teach it. It is not your job to explain it. Your job is to simply state the statement. That is a messenger. That's all there is to it. You are not to get upset when you are not accepted. You're not to get upset when people don't understand it. You're not to get upset when you don't understand the statement yourself. It's got nothing to do with you. This is the job for the kingdom. You are to just simply state it. That is a messenger. There are many messengers out there who are the messengers for the, adver for the adversarial spirits that are still echoing within the spiritual realm. There are very few that are messengers for the kingdom. Next position, teachers. Teachers, on the other hand, are given something from our father. It's not a statement. It's a, it's a thought. It's a topic. They are to research it. They are to understand it. They are to press hard to get understanding as much as they can. And then they're given people who they need to teach it to. 
there are many teachers out there who would rather be messengers. So they get something from our father. They go and make a statement without understanding it, without explaining it, because they didn't do the work. Okay? That is not good. A teacher has to teach. I was told I'm a teacher. I'm not a messenger. I'm a teacher. And so my job is to dig deep and, you know, find everything that I can about what I'm supposed to teach and then teach it, which is why I'm writing the big study. Then we have watchmen. A watchman is something else than most people believe it to be. There are some channels who open up when, when they start making a video. They say that they're watchmen and no, you're not a watchman. A watchman is a person who is told by our father, who is informed by our father of what is going on right now. So it's not a prophecy and it's not information about something from the past. So, so, okay, so let, let, let me, let me explain. A teacher can be given a topic about the past, about the future, about whatever, right? It's just teaching material. It's teaching about something. Watchman is literally given some kind of insight into what is happening right now, like right now. And this insight's got to come from our father. Because if it comes from the enemy's side, then you're being a watchman for the enemy. Which is what is happening in most of the channels that believe they are watchmen. They're simply given running commentary of what the enemy is doing. But who is, who out of all the people who believe they're a watchman, is given insight about what our father is doing. I see nobody. And that is why the kingdom is invisible. There aren't many. There might be just two or three or four watchmen out of the 144 people who were given specific jobs and they're not doing their job. There are some who were given insight into... Many things that are happening right now. Many things the Father is doing. Now, if you feel like you're one of them, if you feel like you were given something that our Father is doing, but it doesn't line up with the expectations that you may have had, or with the expectations of many people out there who are saying Jesus is coming, who are saying the world's going to end, who are saying million and one things but you were given something that doesn't line up with it you know it was from our father and yet you kept your mouth shut if you don't want to say it just tell our father you don't want the job because once you give it up he will find somebody who will do that job and we need this job done or the kingdom will never be visible so that's the watchman they simply Tell the people of what is happening right now. And then we have scribes. Scribes are those who are shown things and they're supposed to document it. It can be about past. It can be about what's happening now. It can be insight into stuff. It can be just about anything. They're not to explain it. They're not to teach it. They're not to proclaim it. They're just writing it down like like a history like just recording it i guess for the future generations i don't know like historians okay so that's scribes right now we are lacking watchmen it's a problem it's a big problem for the kingdom so whoever needed to hear this father isn't upset with you all you got to do is say, I don't want to do this job. I, I, I don't want to do it. And Father will 
immediately removes this from you and he'll give it to another who is ready to do the job. So please, please consider giving it up, guys, if you're not doing it anyway. Okay. Um... The 144, there was so much said about them over the years that there are some huge expectations of what these people are to do. Guys, it's very simple. These 144 are witnesses of our Father. They have, each of them, a unique testimony about our Father. That's all there is to it. These testimonies need to be shared with others to get a full picture. And I know I'm supposed to play a role in connecting some of you with each other. And I am sorry that I haven't done my job well enough. If you have a testimony that you would like to share with others, please drop me an email and I am going to try my best to start connecting you with, with others. We need to start sharing. We need to start having a communion with each other. And I don't mean drinking wine and eating bread. Communion is just being together and sharing the portions that Father has given to each and every one of us. No one person has gotten the whole thing. Okay? We need each other. And we need to start sharing. And I'm not quite sure how this is going to be done, but it will be done. So thanks for listening. Um, again, take everything to Father. Take everything to Father and I'll be back. I'll be back with some more. I love you all. Goodbye.